Of all the worlds that you could possibly imagine, the one I'm about to reveal to you is by far the strangest. It is a big round hole inhabited by the creatures known as Asposians, and brought to life through the breath of its four wind fountains. These fountains have always been guarded by the wind monks. They were one with the wind, and sometimes one with their gambling problem. Like in every culture, this one too had its own legends about the origins of the wind. The stories of gigantic wind gods that breathed life into Asposia seem to satisfy most of its people. Even still, the Asposians were quite surprised when these creatures suddenly emerged from the wind fountains and began turning people into stone. Conroy overtook the rule of the land. For 15 years, he protected the Asposians from the wrath of the wind gods. He preached austerity and obedience to appease the gods. Those were dark times. But now you should know, that was utter nonsense. Conroy built the creatures himself in order to control the people of Asposia through fear and terror. Then one day, three years ago, he was defeated by a young hero. So what is the real story behind the origin of the wind? The holy dynasty of the Flute Noses has brought the wind to Asposia since the beginning of time. They live hidden deep in the forest and play their wind song in secret. Just look at him. Look into his devious eyes. Do you see what I see, brothers and sisters? I see a traitor, a murderer, a crime against nature. It was he and his kind, them with their noses, that summoned the Basilians here, whose evil gaze they used to turn innocent Asposians to stone. They murdered our Abbot Conroy in the most cowardly fashion. For years he'd been protecting us from the Basilians. Like a father putting his arms around us, he appeased the Basilians that they have summoned to attack us. My name is Seraphius Cedar Cantata, flautist of the second rank. It has been my noble task to perform the wind song and with it keep Asposia alive. The fountains flow because of our dynasty. We are but a tool of the wind. What did that flute no say? No, no. Listen, please. You will all suffocate if we cannot play our song. <laughs> Are you all complete idiots? Conroy was evil. Conroy was our savior. He has given his life for us in the fight against these heathens. But we will get him back, my dear brothers and sisters. And the first thing that our Abbot Conroy will see when he is finally free of his stone form is all the flute noses being thrown into the wind fountains, every last one of them! You're all going to kill yourselves! Don't you get it? Conroy built the Basilians himself! <laughs> Our king will come, and he will bring peace. So says the prophecy. Did you all see that? He wanted to summon another Basilian! As I live and breathe, brothers and sisters, 
as Conroy's humble deputy, we will hunt down every last flute nose, and we will put an end to them all. And let this king come. He will be the first to greet the fountain. And there he is, the king of Asposia, Robert, a statue, helpless and alone. Well, he's not quite alone. His loyal pigeon is here to free him from this unfortunate situation. Well, <laughs> what? My, well, where am I? Who am I? I can only remember running into the woods. Then I tripped over a basilian, and then I saw a bright flash. Oh no! I must have turned myself into stone. Who you are? You're Robert. Don't you remember? Remember what? That you're a flute nose. The son of the king, the heir to the throne. Sound familiar, child? Conroy kidnapped you 18 years ago when you were just a baby and turned all the flute noses into stone. You grew up with him, not knowing that your father was the king. Conroy. I thought... Oh, all right. What am I supposed to do with you, Robert? I take you in and raise you like a son, and this is the thanks I get? You're going to sit down and repaint that until it looks decent. And what's with all those flowers? What are you, a girl? Robert, my boy, listen. Perhaps I don't tell you often enough. But it's no wonder that your parents abandoned you. No one wanted you. And if I hadn't found you and taken you off the streets when you were a baby, you would be dead right now. But now you're here, for better or worse. Now come, play me my song. Yeah. Those were 15 long years. Yes, but you defeated him. Chin up, boy. Now the only question is why you're still standing around in this forest instead of finally ascending the throne. I just felt that maybe I'm not... worthy of being king. 
I would go so far as to say you're not even worthy enough to be a shoe shiner. What was that? No! Be quiet! What? Who are you talking to, child? To... No one. Definitely not Conroy's imaginary voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> now, stop daydreaming and pay attention. The flute noses are in danger. And you know that without you all, there will be no wind left either. No air to breathe. Oh, no! Exactly. Right, boy. But there's still hope. There is an ancient prophecy. The legend of harmony. All flute noses and all aspersions will once again live in peace and harmony with each other, and with the wind. But he who shall bring about this harmony is in hiding. You must find him. Take up the search for the last wind monk. Only then can Asposure be saved. Saved, 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 aft, aft, aft. Wait, where am I supposed to look? All right. The last wind monk can be found on the other side of Asposia. Take the cable car from Woolington. That should get you there. The number eight car, I believe. With one layover. But you should ask to be sure. Got it. Thanks. You're completely alone, my boy. Stop it. You're a statue now. Leave me be. Never. I'm a part of you now. <laughs> Concentrate, Robert. You have to save Asposia. You'll never succeed, and you know it. It reminds me of a hammer and chisel. Unsteady. The task is just sitting loosely in the crack. Maybe I can hammer the tusk deeper into the ground with this. What an entrance! Where am I? I can't believe it! The heir to the throne is standing before me. I just knew you'd return, Your Grace. Yeah, about the whole throne thing. It's you! Ocarino Botonia Septiman. Yes, about that. Uh... Aquatroitus Piano Forte Rotundo. Um, Robert is fine. Stacateo, flutist of the nose, guardian of the north, heir to the throne, and first conductor of the brasses to the four winds. That's enough! The third. Oh, wow. It's really you! I think Robert suits you more. You can just call me Robert. Sure thing, Your Grace. I'm Libretta. But you need to be careful. Anyone with a flute nose is no longer safe. Here, put on a nose cover. Thanks. I will be careful. I 
I can't believe that you're actually standing in front of me, Your Grace. I knew you way back when you were still a baby. Quite an ugly baby, as I recall. What's happened these past few years? I made sketches of everything. Someone has to keep a record of what's really happening in case one day we... well... aren't around anymore. You had just saved us all. And I thought, now, everything's going to be alright. But then you were suddenly gone. And then he showed up. Everyone thought we were evil, and that we had summoned the Basilians to attack them. And that Conroy had perished in one last heroic battle against us. But Conroy is the one who built the Basilians. Try telling that to an angry mob. We're officially Conroy's murderers and the evil Basilian summoners. Pretty impressive, huh? What? Yep, they think Conroy was protecting them from us the whole time. Some of us were able to get away, but the rest were dragged away kicking. Since then, it's been so quiet. And everywhere you look, you see these horrible red banners. Nowhere is safe for us anymore. I'm not safe here anymore. You're not safe here anymore. So there's still some flute noses out there. Are they in hiding? I hope so. I haven't heard from the others in years. You haven't happened to see my little sister, have you? I'm all she has left. No, I'm so sorry. But don't worry, Libretta. There's a prophecy. The legend of harmony? Yes, exactly. I just have to find the last wind monk. Then everything will be all right again. I have to get to the other side of Astosia. Well, we have a cable car here that can take you. But it's been broken for a long time. Ah, there's nothing that can't be repaired with a little luck and ingenuity and random objects. And then we can get out of here. I knew you'd come to help us.